United Way of Eastern Maine supports essential services meeting immediate basic needs. At the same time, United Way is actively targeting the root causes of the growing demands for these services. They do this by finding the best local area health and human service agencies, by coordinating hundreds of volunteers, and leading several collaborative initiatives that improve the education, income, and health for anyone living in Penobscot, Piscataquis, Waldo, Hancock, and Washington counties. Hi, I'm John Doherty. I've been volunteering with the United Way of Eastern Maine for several years now in the Greater Bangor region. The thing is, I'm not too familiar with what's been happening out in the rest of Eastern Maine. So, I decided to take a road trip and visit the five counties and hear firsthand from folks what sort of impact the United Way is having in their neck of the woods. First, I'm heading down to Belfast in Waldo County. The rainy coastal weather won't stop me from popping in to meet Stephen an amazing kid who's benefited immensely from his experience at United Way's funded after-school program, The Game Loft, where kids having trouble at school come to play games, build their self-respect, cooperate with others, and learn to become leaders in our community. Before I went to the loft, I was getting bullied a lot. I didn't really have any friends at all. When I started going to the loft, it started to get a little bit better because I started to work with my interactions with other people. I started to work on talking and public relations and a lot of that through the gaming because what you're doing with gaming is you're in front of a small group of people telling them a story and when you're telling a group of people a story you're working on your speaking skills and working on interactions with other people and it helped me to become a better person and be able to handle life better. Next, I'm heading over to Ellsworth in Hancock County to check out the United Way funded program, Friends in Action, which coordinates volunteer drivers to help local seniors living with disabilities maintain their independence and quality of life, with rides to medical appointments, ongoing treatments, trips to the grocery store, you name it. Luckily, I get to stop in and hear from Billy to find out firsthand how this program has helped her. In 2008, I realized that I was no longer a safe driver and that I had to give up my driver's license. So I called 211 and I asked them if there was an organization that would take me to different places that I needed to. And they said, why, yes, there is. There's an organization called Friends in Action. They have taken me shopping. They have taken me to the vet's office with my cat. It has enabled me to give up my driver's license and still live a wonderful life. Without them, I would be totally homebound. Since United Way raises thousands of dollars statewide through Project Heat to provide not only emergency home heating assistance, but also to fund important winterization projects, I'm going to stop over at United Way funded agency, WHCA in Ellsworth, to learn about these vital services in Hancock and Washington counties. We took over 5,000 applications for fuel assistance last year. 4,000 of those people were eligible for fuel assistance and we helped an additional 500 and some families with our THAW program, it's the emergency program. Honestly, the numbers are greater than I've seen in a long time. Obviously, there's a lot of people out there that really rely on and need this kind of help, especially since the economy's gone bad. They say things are turning around, but Downey's Maine's always the last place to see any, any kind of turnaround. Now I'm heading to Harrington in Washington County to meet with the good folks at Hammond Oil so I can hear how they're involved with emergency home eating assistance and what it means in their community. We really feel that it's important to try to help the people here in Washington County who live, you know, in a low income community. We always do what we can to try to help them and point them in the direction of where they can get help, whether it's sending them to WHCA for a fuel assistance appointment or for an emergency delivery and there's a lot of people out there that are willing to give a helping hand and and we try to do that too. These are the people that are our neighbors next door. These are our customers who have we've served for over 50 years and we want to do this to help them. The longest part of my drive takes me from Washington County all the way over to United Way funded agency Journey House in Dexter, where young mothers and victims of domestic violence can find an open door. I'm going there to meet with Malika from Milo in Piscataquis County, an incredible brave young woman who found salvation and invaluable support at Journey House. 
Well, I got pregnant when I was 18 years old. I was scared. I was alone in the situation. And I was looking for resources. I was looking for anything, group homes to shelters. I didn't have anyone. They told me to call 211. They told me about the journey house. I was just looking for a place to live. It didn't matter to me where I lived. I just needed a place to live to get onto my feet. I moved into the journey house expecting just a place to stay. They helped me with healthy meals, with becoming a better parent, certain schedules down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the same time every day. They helped me with bedtime routines for my son. They gave me stability and structure. The journey house gave me home. Time to head back to Bangor, United Way of Eastern Maine's home base. Not only because of the high concentration of top quality health and human service providers, but it's also the single most densely populated area in all of Eastern Maine. Many of the folks here are active United Way volunteers. Here's volunteer superstar Ron Russell with why he supports United Way. I'm a volunteer because uh, from way back when I grew up, my parents uh, did a lot of volunteering. So I've always thought it was important. I have to say that um, it's really been a rewarding experience. Um, the United Way in particular um, was an organization that I felt that I wanted to um, contribute to because they covered so many bases. These are the stories that make me proud to be a donor and a volunteer for the United Way. When I give to the United Way, I join thousands of others from all over Eastern Maine. And in turn, together, we make a much larger impact on the community than we could ever do alone. This is our United Way. It starts with donors. Donors like me and donors like you. Please join me and make your donation today. Together, united, we build a stronger community for all of us. Thank you.